Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for May 20th, 2020. Here we go with the 2020. <laughs> right? So here we go. We have yellow, purify your body. The number is 22. So we have this master number here. This is very much, it's about self-esteem. It is about self-worth and it is about uh, aligning yourself with the new energies that we are being asked to carry. Okay, so this is a big message about the physical body catching up with the spiritual evolution. Now, this we see is a very bright card. It's a very beautiful card. It, it does have this high frequency about it. And it's saying, you know, when we say purify your body, don't let yourself fall into dogma. Remember, that's the thing that we're supposed to be working away from where people are telling us how to be. Um, and what we should be putting into our bodies and how we should move. And if you don't follow my program, then <laughs> that is no. Okay. Like that <laughs> you do what feels right for you. You'll be surprised. Like your body will naturally let you know when you want something. Now, some people go, Oh no, my body just tells me I want chocolate cake. Well, that's your, maybe your psychological self <laughs> stress eating or something like that. But you know, I, I don't know about how you guys are, but for me, just as an example and share with me how you go through this, but like yesterday, I I had like a breakfast burrito. I do love me some breakfast burrito. I love breakfast foods, period, okay? Like I could do it all day, <laughs> like breakfast all day. Uh, but like I had a breakfast burrito and then for lunch, I was like, oh, man, I really want to bust open that salad kit that I have in my refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> and I busted it open and I was like, oh, this is delicious. This tastes so good. So if you really get in tune with your body, and that's what we're talking about here. If you get in tune with your body, it's not going to necessarily tell you that you want an apple or celery all the time. Okay. Sometimes you need a breakfast burrito. All right. <laughs> with a, little, a little good salsa on top of it. Um, but other times, you know, your body will let you know, you know, oh, if I'm leaning towards oranges, my body's needing vitamin C right now. You know, sometimes I really, I, I'll have like a you know, craving for walnuts. Okay. So there's something in that, in those walnuts that my body wants and needs. So that I'm not trying to oversimplify this because eating can get tricky. It can definitely be tricky and it could be, you know, kind of a sore spot for some people. And exercise is the same way. Exercise is exactly the same way because people will tell you, oh, you have to be doing this crazy thing or you're never going to get fit. Well, so what? <laughs> I don't need my insides on the outside. Okay. <laughs> I don't need all my muscles bulging through my skin. Um, <laughs> you know, movement should be about whatever gets your energy moving, gets you unstuck. You know, what feels right for you. If it's a walk outside, do it. All right. So let's, you know, the whole point of me saying all that is so that we don't go too far with this idea of purifying the body because that is a big business, okay, of selling, um, things that could help with that. And people out there that this is their business, I'm not saying that you're bad for doing that. I know you believe in it, but what I'm the, the general message I'm giving here is listen to what is right for your particular body. Okay? So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care. Bye-bye.